trying to keep those guys inside is uh it's not easy here we go again y'all so we moved the pigs yesterday except for these guys they don't seem to want to stay inside kind of do their own thing and we let them but uh they will get processed this weekend we got some beautiful weather coming in it's supposed to be raining right about now but you know texas weather is going to do what it does uh we did get a truckload this morning so like i said i've got to fill up the pigs uh bedding area i need to cover all that up we're gonna throw some either hay or uh, we're gonna get some wood shavings or something to cover that up so let's go let's go that way real quick here we go now all right curly come on buddy come talk to the camera come on how's your day been buddy yeah are the girls treating you nice run gina there's nothing more exciting than pigs running look at these guys oh my goodness that's a speedster right there oh that guy's a little come on buddy run <laughs> there you go hiccup they probably think i'm gonna give them food but no i am not gonna give them any food i'm gonna do my best to keep these guys inside which means i'll probably have to go the long way which is not a big deal but again uh they've already worked on this grass because i saw them earlier when i got home um <laughs> we got more guys running this way oh my goodness look at that yeah Woo! they run fast you know of course everybody thinks i got food for them so see this is gonna be a little trick uh oh we got sheep out there i gotta get those guys in before they start eating all the little plants that we got and they probably got underneath that cattle panel but that's not a big deal because we're gonna get those guys moved so kind of right in time everything's happening right in time for us but like i said these guys get out all the time so i need to go on that side of that little building i need a cattle panel and the cattle panels are obviously on that side so i've got to go from there drag them all the way over there put them up and then that way i'll keep these guys here and out of my way because i don't want to chase these guys down you know not that it's hard for me to get them in and out but i just don't feel like you know fighting with them today it's not it wasn't my, on my to do so farm guys this is this is a little bit of our farm our crazy little farm so let's go let's go over there well this little door should not be open but i can see how those sheep got out now so i'm get another little repair that i gotta do again not a big deal i'll fix that this is the area where the sheep and the cow were where the sheep are here now and there's not a whole lot of grass left so we need to give this a rest because they've been here for at least a month and it's, it hasn't only been this paddock um it's it goes all the way back over there so it's pretty good size there's definitely uh close to two acres on this paddock alone but look this is where i want to get them i'm going to spend on some of these cattle panels so uh we're going to invest a little bit of money in there and get a couple of gates and i want gates big enough for me to go in and out with a tractor uh, that was the plan originally and before we started changing things when we had the goats and then we stopped But now the way things are going or the, the way things are looking That's gonna be the best thing for us to do and uh, continue the original thought of uh, uh, Rotational rotational grazing with these animals because Look, there's there's plenty. Of, there's plenty of good grass here uh, The pigs don't touch it anymore I don't know why they're just a little picky i guess but we'll get these sheep in here and and it'll look like this they'll come in here and they'll mow it down pretty good love the sheep the sheep are, are pretty pretty good uh grazers so i promise you guys i had good intentions of doing this before they jumped over but um they just jumped over with me it looks like there was a little hole right there in the gate 
It found it, or not the gate, but the but the fence line. It found it. So now I got half in here, and the other half is over there. And I think I've got two more over there on the other side. No, they're all here now. I think they're all here. So I was able to get a kettle panel in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and take this kettle panel off because I'm gonna give them access to that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this two by four wire off. I'm just gonna take it off, I don't need it. All right, real quick, nothing fancy. Let's put that back on. I'm gonna take these right here and just turn them this way. Again, what oh, else stuck right there? Hold on. Let's, uh, let's break this. There it is, Loosen, loosened it up enough. Let me just take it around, turn it this way. So we actually have a sheep that's still out there. I don't know if you can see her way out there. Oh, look at that. Hey, buddy. Hey, dude. Don't come get my, my chickens, please. All right, let's not do that today. It's a beautiful hawk. Beautiful, beautiful hawk. I mean, I'm not gonna fight with this guy, but you know, just kind of leave my chickens alone. You know, it's, I don't ask for a whole lot. <laughs> All the chickens are going crazy, and these guys are hiding. I don't know if you can see them. We're going underneath there. Look at that one. She's about to go in there. She said, "The heck with this. I'm not getting eaten today." <laughs> Guys, look, this is nature at its best, I guess. You know, when it comes to having animals, livestock, you know, you got livestock, you're gonna have dead stock. And sometimes those guys win. So again, I'm not gonna get in his way. I just hope he doesn't take one of my chickens. So my wife is gonna go get the feed bucket because we do have a, we, we have a sheep out there somewhere and the dogs are trying to corral it and you know, tell it hey dude you don't belong out here but anyway so the plan is for her to come around this side and there's a gate right there you're about to start hearing them yell or she's gonna start yelling because or not yelling whatever call they make you know that bah whatever because the dogs are gonna be chasing her and she knows she's not supposed to be out there and our dogs know that She's not supposed to be out there. But my wife is going to bring her this way through that little gate right there. Pointing in the right direction? Yeah, there's a gate right there. She'll bring her this way, and then when she does, we'll call these guys in. Look at this beautiful herd. Now, the black and white ones, those are not ours. They actually belong to one of our friends. But I hope that, uh, you know, we can work something out because I'd like to keep them. They are actually Dorper crosses. Ours are St. Croix um, Dorper crosses and something else. I don't know. But again, look at those beautiful girls. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep walking in there, and they're gonna walk. They're gonna follow this bucket watch. You'll see. Let's see if I can get in here. Come on, come on, cheap, cheap. 
Come on, Cheap Cheap. Come on. Come on, ladies. Come on. Good girls. Beautiful. Look at y'all. No feed required. I like it when a plan comes together. Look at them. Heck yeah. This is uh this is exactly how I planned it. <laughs> I mean, oh see, there goes the other one that's outside. Oh no. Oh no. What's going on y'all? Where y'all going? Where y'all going? Yo, you don't like it? I mean we <laughs> my wife is coming in here now. She's gonna get in here through that gate. That gate's not the best, but um it works. So this has actually been kind of fun. There we go. She got her in here now. She's gonna get in with the rest of the herd. Come on in. We gotta bring those girls back over here. That way they know where. Cause we gotta put the water in here. I gotta get a water trough. I'll probably put it right in that corner. That way, um, <laughs> look at Gina running. What's up, dude? So I'll put that water trough right there in that corner. That way my wife doesn't have to, she'll be watering it. Yeah, I know I gotta cover that up. You think Gina's gonna come through? Gina is coming through. Well, not only Gina. Oh, great. <laughs> Gina said, this is what I think about your idea, sir. Sir, I will not skip a meal, sir. Oh, we have pigs and sheep together. Look at that. So somebody's gonna get flipped over. Look at those guys. Ah, oh, they're beautiful. Uh, just sharing our journey with you guys. Nothing special. Um, that's it for today. Just moving more animals around and, and, and trying to work with what we got and sticking to what we said we were going to do. It's just, it never, you got to try some things first before you actually stick to it though. And I think we finally settled in that sheep and pigs, cows, and chickens is going to be our thing. Um, you know, I like to introduce turkeys again and geese again because I like those big birds, but they don't like my son too much. He always gets attacked. So, um, got a couple little things to do, but no need for you guys to be watching those videos anymore or this video anymore. Um... That's it. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate y'all. Have a good one.